In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Horseshoe Wave Kinetic Sculpture. While the parts are 3D printed and the files are available on my website, the link is in the bio. The only additional parts you're going to need are these half inch ball bearings. So let's start with the side piece with the big hole and the shaft with the crank slides through the big hole. Make sure that the legs are facing away from the crank. Next, grab a cam and with the flange facing the side piece that slides right onto the shaft. Now grab each cam, rotate it by one spline and slide it on and then repeat that for the rest of the 16 cams. When you get to the end of the first half of the shaft, slide the second half of the shaft on. Make sure that the splines align. Then continue sliding the cams onto the shaft. Now keep in mind if you're making the 8 cam model, each cam slides on 2 ticks over, or 1 eighth. And you'll know it's right if it makes a full circle by the time you're done putting them all on. Grab the other end piece and with the feet facing in, pop it onto the post and C-clamp it into place. And then you can press both of those into the base. Grab one half of the small shaft, slide it in through the other hole in the side piece, and then start sliding the horseshoe pieces onto that shaft. Make sure that they're in this orientation. Now slide the other end, not all the way in, and slide the horseshoe pieces onto that shaft. You might need to tilt the shaft up a little bit to get the last horseshoe on. And then press the male thread into the female thread on the other shaft and twist it into place. Make sure that all the horseshoe pieces can freely move. Throw the knob onto the crank, C-clamp it into place, and then snap ball bearings into the end of each horseshoe piece. Final step is to just put some ball bearings onto the horseshoe tracks and crank away. Now keep in mind that you can alter the way that the motion looks by changing the phase difference between each cam, or basically by changing the amount that each cam rotates relative to the previous cam. And I'll let you explore that. Enjoy.